we are going to install the Android operating system on a Raspberry Pi 4. In this situation, it's the Canna Kit 8GB starter kit with 8GB RAM. And it also has HDMI cables. And the price is $120, bucks, but you could probably find it for a lot less. And you're going to need a 32GB um, micro SD to do this uh or and you can buy one by itself as well for about 10 bucks uh but it, there's one that comes with it the kit itself as well so i mean personally i would say get two you are also going to want a keyboard in this situation i'm using the jellycomb keyboard for 35 bucks uh, because it has uh, Bluetooth, uh, but you can also get something cheaper. You know, the Logitech is 14 bucks, and you can plug in the keyboard and the mouse, which is helpful at first when you're setting up. You're gonna want the Belina Etcher, and there is the address for it and the download link for it. And go ahead and download that on your laptop and then we're going to go to constakang.com and we're going to go and download the latest lineage operating system this is what we're going to use as the android operating system you want to click here to start your download. When you click this, it's going to pull up a list. So you can go ahead and uh, select whichever one you wish to select out of here. Once Lineage is done downloading, you're going to want to open your Etcher program and then find where your Lineage OS operating file is and go ahead and select it. And you're going to want to use your micro SD. This is why I want you to use the Canna Kit because it comes with this USB uh, micro SD system here. Makes it a lot user friendly. You want to go ahead and put that in there and then go back into the Etcher and select the SD card. Very user friendly. I mean, there's other uh, Raspberry Pis you can use, but I like this one the best. And once once you got it set, go ahead and start burning it. And once the Lineage OS has been flashed, you're going to want to put it inside of your uh, Raspberry Pi and set everything up. And we're going to go to a website. Don't even worry about setting up the Lineage itself. You're just going to want to go straight to a browser and go to uh, Kiami Firmware, and you're going to want to download the BitGaps and put it on the other micro SD card on that USB, that user friendly thing that is so nice to have. Uh, go ahead and get it on that USB. It can be any USB, honestly. It, you don't have to have that. And because uh, we're gonna we're gonna restart this thing, and we're putting it on the flash, just to make sure that nothing gets erased. And now that we got the bit gaps backed up, we're gonna go into the settings and select system. And we're going to go to the advanced settings. And we're going to select gestures. And then select power menu. And turn on advanced restart. And we're going to hold F5 or FN plus 5. And we're going to restart the Raspberry Pi. Swipe to allow modifications. Select install. And this will be on the flash USB. We'll go ahead and select uh, the USB itself. The one that we uh, drug and drop the uh, file to. And select OK. Select the file.
swipe to confirm the flash and give it time to do its thing and let it install and we're gonna wipe and swipe to wipe then we're gonna go back into the menu by clicking the image in the top left hand corner and we're gonna choose wipe and we're gonna slide swipe to factory reset uh, let it do its thing and we're going to go back to the menu and we're going to choose mount and check boot system and then go back to menu and then we're going to reboot and select system and lineage os is going to reboot but this time it is going to have the google play store and this is the full version of the google play store you go ahead and sign in and if you are a member of Google Advanced Protection Program, you can also sign into it as well because this version accepts physical hardware keys. Go through the usual. You can also have widgets and uh, as you can see, we have Google Assistant. We have Google Chrome. Now, this Google Chrome does not accept physical hardware keys. We have Google Documents. If you don't have a touch screen, some games and apps will not work. Google Files does work. You can use your Gmail application as well as the Google application. You can also use your Google TV app with all of your purchased shows and movies. Um, and your Google Home with all of your smart uh, appliances and smart lights as well as Google Photos. You can even install your Google Pixel Buds and watch TV without bothering anybody or play Google Play games without waking anybody up. Uh, you have access to the full Google Play Store and just about every single Google application that's available on the Play Store. Uh, you can even uh, hook your Wear OS watch up to your Pi and you can use YouTube app as well. You can see your, view your channel. Google uh, YouTube Music. This Raspberry Pi is now one hell of an entertainment system for you and your family.